Hey, hello there, good evening, and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. I always look forward to Tuesdays. Tonight, we've got some incredible deals. Uh, we've got some dates this year, but we've got a lot of dates for 2021 and even 2022, so you can plan ahead. Um, we are going to take you to some beautiful places. We've also got a fantastic river cruise uh, coming up a little bit later on with Tom. But Justin is back. Nice to see you, matey. How are you doing? Well. Yeah, nice good to see you again. Nice to see yeah, you. all good. Um, what a show we've got. We've got a really great selection of cruises, some great cruise lines. As you said, you know, all of those great cruises in 2021 and 2022. As and well. it is nice sometimes to plan ahead. You know, I, I always like something to look forward to, even if it is next year or the year after. Because we've got um, a top selling cruise with Celebrity, which we had a few weeks ago. And it takes you, you fly to Melbourne, you come all the way back to Singapore. Singapore, yeah. And it's under £1,100. But that is for next year, February 2021. I can do that one. Sounds good. What have you got your eye on? I quite like one of the itineraries towards the end. But I'm not going to tell you which one. Just because oh, it's a little bit different. Oh, no, I know the one you mean, though. Yeah. Yes. But basically, stay tuned to find out. But I also want to mention, we have got... A river cruise coming up with Tom, haven't we? Yes. From, and this is incredible. Actually, just looking. This is from Riviera Travel. We've got a lead price starting at eight nine nine. Yeah, and river that's cruise, for two thousand twenty-one. Something completely different. One thing I particularly like about that is what you get included. Yeah. So your tours are included, a lot of other bits and pieces as well, which Tom will go through. And, and some new things for next year for their upper balconies. Yes. As well, so their, or, or their upper suites. So and, um, and so and some great single prices as well. So. Loads, uh, loads to tempt you with tonight. But uh, if you've never booked with Planet Cruise, here's a little bit about them. Planet Cruise, well, first of all, we need to let everyone know that your holiday is financially protected. We are apt to bonded with your holidays uh, and at all protected as well. So there's no financial risk. And we are the industry leading cruise agent. We've been trading now for over 20 years. So you are in very, very safe hands. Um, so, where should we begin? Shall we start, Lotland? Let's start well. Let's start with my favourite two words. This week's, what are they, Justin? All inclusive. All inclusive. Here we go. I do, I do love an all-inclusive crew. We're going to have to practice that again. It wasn't very good, was it? No. <laughs> and we didn't get the dun, 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 oh. the little dancing. Mm. No, we didn't. That's your fault. Oh, well. But I do love an all-inclusive. <laughs> I really do. I, I think, and it isn't, I know I sort of like joke a bit about, you know, drinks, and I am prone to, you know, having a few drinks on a cruise, but it just makes it easier as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I, th I think you're not thinking about what you're spending. You're, you're a little bit more relaxed as well. And you can, when I say budget, you know exactly that yeah. you're not going to get to the end of the cruise and you're like, oh, crikey, you know, put it on the credit card and end up paying it off uh, in a few months' time. Now, I will say, with this, this first cruise, and it really did come in pretty late, actually, the upgrade to All Inclusive ends midnight the 10th of March. Hang on. Midnight tonight. That's yeah, tonight. You've got to do it. So if, if you're watching this on on, uh, uh, on a repeat, then please do not call. You've missed out yeah. on that deal. Um, but this, you know, it's a so great it, so last-minute deal. So it does finish deal. tonight. You, do, you, know, you, need to, you need to book this on tight. So, so you I, are getting yeah. an upgrade to all-inclusive. And this is a fantastic itinerary, Justin, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, great cruise line. Norwegian Cruise Line is just a fantastic cruise line in themselves. You can see incredibly bright um, and vibrant ships. Great facilities on board for all the family as well. Yes. They've, they've got a really great kids program that's split down. You know, sometimes when you go to some resorts and it's not like there's something for the kids, there's a kids club, and like the teenagers feel left out. There's a really good yeah. breakdown of all of that. But just look at the scenery and, of course, the fun that you're going to be having on board. Um, the innovations that they've taken to see, like the go-kart in there and some of the zip lines are fantastic on their ships. The Jersey Boys show as well and all the different dining options. There is so much to choose from. Um, on all the cruise lines, but NCL really does, excuse the, the, the pun, but push the boats out when it comes to, uh, to fun and entertainment. Uh, but you, and I'll just say again, if you book, we have got dates for 2021, but if you book any of the dates for this year, we've got September and October, this year you'll get a free upgrade to All Inclusive. So that's for the 2020 dates, either October or September this year, you will get a free upgrade to All Inclusive. But there is so much to do on their ships, isn't they? Yeah, as you can see there, the, you know, the Aqua Park and the Aqua Racer is going to be great for the kids. And, uh, you know, if you're feeling a little bit bold, not walking the plank uh, quite, but uh, near, near enough, and it's all safe there, you can see the harness. Some fantastic shows 
on board. And the, the restaurants that you've got, you've got two complimentary restaurants, 24-hour room service as well, and bottomless buffets, which is all included in the price of the cruise. Uh, there's teppanyaki, Italian cuisines, Asian fusion. There's great entertainment with the casino as well. So uh, there's there's Ooh, that is do. good. Snow room. Yeah. Snow room. We haven't had any snow this year, have we? Not a little, little no, I've just, I've just thought yeah, that. I forgot what snow looked like. But oh. look at all the rooms and the suites there as well. Um, but the destinations of this one, it's a part of the world that I still haven't been to, but I would love to visit. It's great. I'll tell you, I, I, there's, there's one place here, there's a great bar that you'd love, Depeche Mode, right up your what? street. What? Depeche Mode? You'd love yeah. Depeche Mode. Did you? Yeah. There's a Depeche Mode bar in Tallinn, which is coming up in a couple of cruises, well, a couple of stops time. Oh, I just can't get enough. <laughs> just can't get enough of that one. So, let's uh, let's start with... Um... <laughs> See? On it tonight. So we fly to, uh, from the UK to Ho uh, Copenhagen, don't we? Yes, and then you get transfers and shit. Your first port of call is uh, the port of Varnemunde, which is the port for Berlin. So if you do want to do one of the overland tours and see a little bit of Berlin, then you can go and see the cathedrals there. You can go and see Checkpoint Charlie and the Berlin Wall and the Berlin Tower. Um, I've got to say, Varnemunde. I actually remember Varnemunde is just a great port in itself. The port of Varnemunde has got a lovely canal that you can wander along. There's some great gift shops there. I bought some, funny enough, it's weird that we've got some candle holders that are still in the bathroom from Varnemunde. I don't know why I just remembered that. Uh, there's a little uh, private island just opposite, which is like a summer island where everybody's got their summer resorts. And also on the beach, they go swimming 365 days of the year. And they've got these old, it looks like oh. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You know when they get like turn of the century, uh, where even, even the guys are wearing like long shorts and tops going swimming they've got these like wicker basket changing rooms that you wow. can go into so uh, but you can go I to Berlin I, as well I'd stay in Varnum I think I've reached that edge where I could do this kind of 1920s swimming costume all covered up no, uh, 2020s <laughs> anyway <laughs> um, a day at sea and then you're going up to Tallinn Estonia now this is a beautiful old city and you can see the walls here as you go into the the uh, that this is up at the top um, you can actually walk up to the top um, there's some loads, you know when you see sort of uh, like on the South Bank where you have street performers and yeah, artists. Yeah. There's a lovely alleyway that goes up the way up to the top there. Um, the main square, which is just off of the, uh, the street that you can see here, is fantastic. And just to the left hand side here is the flower market that I always go on about. I don't know why, I just love seeing flower markets. It's just that, you know, oh, bright I do. Yeah. flowers and fauna, the smell. Um, and the town hall's fantastic. For people watching, go to the old square. There's some great crystal shops. They love their lead crystal over in Tallinn. Um, also, there's some good antique shops. So if you want to go in there and pick up some really good genuine stuff, or well, I've come up with a new term. I don't know whether you've ever heard the term a mantique. <laughs> no, what's a, a man mantique? What's a no, mantique? No, 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 it's something cool. You know, something like, it used to oh. be retro or something like that. You don't have an antique, you have a mantique. It's something you put in your man cave. Ah. Mantique. There you go. I think, I, I think I'm a mantique now. I, I feel like a mantique. Um, anyway, uh, from Tallinn, we're over to, oh, and I'd love to visit St. Petersburg. It's I still on my can't list. believe you haven't gone to St. Petersburg. I don't get a holiday, I keep telling you. <laughs> no, it's because you keep on booking other cruises. You want to book, <laughs> book one here. Um, definitely, you've got to go to the Hermitage. You can, ne you can never do the Hermitage all in just one day. The Winter Palace is part of it as well. Um, there's some great markets in St. Petersburg where you can get anything and everything. I mean, there's the old military hats that the sub Submarine guys used to wear, you know, the big sort of fluffy yeah, yeah. Um, uh, submarine um, hats. Also in St. Petersburg, because you have got that fantastic overnight as well, there's usually a tour um, with most cruise lines to go and see the Russian ballet. Yeah, which I'd love to do. And you, I, I know I've been, been yeah. every time. And the live music, like the, 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 the concerts and the venues that I went to had a live orchestra, fantastic dancers, glass of champagne out on a balcony. Mm. I thought I was in a James Bond film. Brilliant, oh, absolutely fantastic. Um, more like Brooke Bond, anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> no, no. should we go off to Finland? Why not? Yeah, let's go to Helsinki. I'll tell, do you know what, the, 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 the only thing that you need to understand in Finland is, is a word called kippis. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. that's fine, yeah. And they love to say it, kippis, kippis. Che oh. Yeah. And Sisu as well, which is like a, an energy. It's a bit like the Force from Star Wars. It's like an internal oh, energy. Okay. You have Sisu like a Sisu. warrior. Uh, but Helsinki, Helsinki is fantastic for shopping um, and fantastic for fish as well. I know you probably say, well, of course it's going to be. It's near, near the ocean. But it's really good for some of their, their fish delicacies that they have. Uh, then we're into uh, Stockholm, or the port of Nansham. Um, it's a small rocky harbour. It's a beautiful sailing um, to this particular uh, port. 
The buildings are beautiful. You can see all of the different uh, cultural um, architecture that you can see there. Um, it's a real Viking stronghold, so you've got a lot of history there and some great museums. But that's your final port of call before you have a final day at sea and come back into Copenhagen. Wow, wonderful item and a brilliant you've price. Got, you've got to go to this part of the world, Sean. To be honest, I think... I think I could do that lead date, actually. So, very important, tonight, if you book tonight, you'll get a free upgrade to All Inclusives if you book the 2020 departures. Now, two dates, we've got October and, if I remember rightly, we have got the 23rd of September. So, I've got two dates there for 2020, but we do have many dates for 2021 as well. This is a March sale, so you'll also get up to uh, $100 on board spend. Uh, that amount varies, obviously, depending on sailing and duration and cabin booked. Part of the March sale, we've got a brilliant price, and that includes the 30% reduction. Return flights based on London, but we have got on this one some really good regional flights available at a supplement. Now, I did want to mention some of the dates. I know a lot of you planning for next year already. So, two dates this year where you'll get the free upgrade. We've already had sellouts on those, but then loads of dates for 2021. So, if you really want to plan ahead, if you want something to look forward to for next year, Give us a call for that one. The uh, usual number is there, 0808 But we have got an incredibly priced river cruise coming up next. And Tom is with us from Riviera Travel. Lovely to see you, Tom. Evening. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a little while since I've been yeah. here. I think probably about a year now or so. It's, yeah. So. Glad to be back, very, though. Looking very dapper. Thank you very, very much. Dapper. Thank you. And you've got some amazing prices for next year, haven't you? We have, we have. I think tonight is probably the best price we've ever put on sale for a seven-night uh, river cruise, so it's something a little bit special. I think, it's by, I think it's the best price we've ever had for a river cruise full stop, isn't it? Definitely. And, and mm. I think the thing to consider is what you get included for that. Because sometimes when people look at river cruising, they, they look at the price and they're like, oh, it's a, it's a little bit more expensive than some mm. of the... But it's what you get yeah. for your money. Well, the price tonight starts as little as 899 we've got some amazing single prices as well you can see the dates on the screen just be, be before we show you a little clip of film just tell us a little bit about riviera travel in terms of river cruising uh, so we're the uk market leader for river cruising um but as just to mention i think the most important thing is you know what we include and there is so much included so you know what in every river cruise you're always going to get your flights included and i think the great thing is especially with the cruise tonight we've got a number of regional airports yes, as well that, yeah. so you've got birmingham manchester you know you've got london right. airport so it gives you some selection as well you get all your excursions included as well which i think we <sighs> We all know that's the yeah they uh, could cost a fortune can't they you know yeah. the, old, the old saying it's not what you pay to get on the ship is it it's what it's you what pay, you pay to get, when off. You get off so you know, <laughs> uh, you so, know. <laughs> that is true i've been there yeah <laughs> you know so that's a great thing you know we've got uh, all the meals included and we're doing a real great thing in 2021 we're calling it um uh, local flavors so it's making sure that we're including you know some of the local delicacies on every oh, yeah. single cruise so you know on this itinerary you know when you're in budapest we're going to have goulash for you or we're going to have apple strudel as you're heading further into uh, uh, you know, down the down. So some real nice, right. real nice stuff there as well. Uh, you've got a cruise yeah. director and cruise manager as well with you. You've got Wi-Fi included. You've got tea and coffee in every cabin. And, and that's, yeah, that's so all included in the price. That's all included in the price. And we've got great single specials as well. So anyway, let's, I think we should take you on board, have a little look. Well, that looks like the bar to me. <laughs> 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 so yeah, you're gonna see, you, you know, the bar. I think the great thing is, you know, even though we don't include the drinks in the price, a beer on board, you know, as you're seeing, three euros fifty. Yeah. It's not a lot of money, so you know, you're not gonna have to worry about pe racking up a massive bar bill when you're on board. I but we are gonna see some beautiful places on this, one, aren't we? I you think are. that I think that's the key thing. It's a different place on a river cruise, yeah. and you know, you're only looking at maximum capacity, 169 yeah. passengers, just 88 cabins. Wow. And I think, you know, when you, you, you know, you are that close. In fact, in, yeah. so, in some respects, you are closer. You know, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have a, a balcony or when you're up on the top deck yeah. and you can see the towns. And that's what and, I love. And I, to have that ever-changing scenery must yeah. be wonderful. That's the thing, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see the scenery all the way through. And I think that's why actually the most popular place on the cruise is the sun deck. Because yeah. you sit there, you see the scenery go by, but then you nip up onto sun deck and you see this beautiful stuff from either side of the river. It's, it's yeah. absolutely stunning. And, and this is a, it's a fabulous itinerary that we've got on this one. So we're, we're going to jump on board and then just talk you through. So we start with a flight over to Budapest. We should say, uh, as you mentioned, regional flights are available regional as well. Regional flights included. Um, and... 
Fred, but, but I mean, <laughs> when, when you arrive in Budapest, I know, I know, everyone is going to be I'll be honest, shall I, I, shall I, I, shall I, I break I, the I, awkward silence? I was going to pronounce the first place, I thought, oh, hang on. Estegon. Is that all it is? Yeah, yeah. Estegon. Oh, well, it's fine then. But Budapest is lovely, but Estegon's <laughs> even better. So, so, so we'll skip the, skip the arrival to the ship and the lovely crew welcoming you aboard and, 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 and all of that. Straight into uh, a little bit of Hungary. Now, bear in mind, overnight you've actually cruised up to Estegon. This is one of Hungary's oldest towns. It was, a, it was actually back in the medieval times, it was actually the royal cat. Uh, 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 capital. Um, there's a guided walking tour here of the neoclassical basilica as well and this is what I love you know if you're going to do I like to do city breaks and like to explore yeah. having that uh, you know tour included as part yeah. of it you get off the ship get some fresh air stretch your legs see the sights and that is included the castle is also worth exploring there as well and at lunchtime you get back on board the ship and you're going to be heading down the river to Bratislava now uh, in the morning you're going to be uh, exploring probably well the, um, Slovakia's uh, fast emerging capital city that you've got here again on another guided tour so that is included so you get a chance to see the 17th century castle which has got some fantastic views over the Danube um, and a beautifully restored old town it's absolutely lovely in the afternoon you're going to cruise then from Slovakia into lower Austria and this this is where you start to see those beautiful rolling hills and of course oh, wow, those vines yeah. and vineyards we're into winemaking country and we're into our next port call, which is Dernstein and Melk. And the fact that you're getting both of these in that day, I mean, Dernstein is principally known for the ice blue tower of the Abbey that you can see there just on the waterline. Uh, and it really dominates the view. Historically, this is where Richard the Lionheart was actually um, imprisoned during the Crusades. So incredible amount of history there. Um, after lunch, you get a chance to see the, uh, the abbey there as well. There's some, uh, some stunning Baroque-style architecture there. And um, there's also the Emperor's Gallery, which is uh, um, a 214-yard-long gallery lined with portraits. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, from that date, we're on to Linz and Salzburg. Again, both of these places in one day. Now, when you reach Linz, you're going to have the choice to either stay in the city and take a, a, a guided walking tour. Um, and really, at the heart of this, there's one of the finest squares that you see in Austria. It is just beautiful with the, um, the Trinity column of white marble, gilded sunburst on the top there. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a great fortress-like castle up at the top there. Um, which was um, uh, built by Emperor Frederick III, uh, which is now a museum, so you get a chance to see that. Alternatively, you can go to Salzburg, and you can go here to see one of the most beautiful skylines. And, you know, when we talk about Salzburg, there's so much to choose. You've got the Helbrun Palace, which when you see the formal gardens, the Mirabel Palace is just, if you love horticulture, if you're green-fingered, you will absolutely yeah. love that. I place. would love this itinerary. Yeah. Stunning. It's just brilliant. Oh, it really is. Um, then, of course, Vienna. I mean, this, this is this is the highlight of the cruise, definitely. Well, one oh, difficult, actually, is one of the highlights mm. because there's so many great ports. It is. I mean, I think the best way to describe this itinerary is it's like doing lots of city breaks. In, in a week, you know, how much would you pay to go to Budapest for a night or Vienna? Whereas yeah. on this itinerary, you're getting to see all these great places just wrapped up in one, in I one love trip. Budapest. It is fantastic. I do. I, do. I love yeah. it. I can't wait to go back and go back later on in this year, hopefully. So uh, looking forward to that. But there's all those beautiful palaces in the gardens. On to, on to, uh, to, to Vienna, and um, it just, well, you've got the Schubron Palace there, you've got the lavish Imperial Apartments, you've got another fantastic museum, and uh, again, another tour included on this. So we, we, we have haven't got time to go through all of the details because there's so much included no. but please give us a call tonight talk mm. through and you'll get to see mm. everything um the and, uh, and the then we go back to in... budapest don't we we're overnight today, yeah but it's we? overnight yeah. yeah brilliant where would you go though in budapest oh. where would you go pinball museum Hi, see, left field. There's a pinball museum that you can go to, it's and you pay an entry fee, and all the pinball machines they're on free play, so you can go in there and just okay. play on them. Um, if you want to go to the old Jewish quarter, you can go to that. You can go to the Parliament Building, which is one of the biggest um, areas. Of course, you can go across the uh, the river up into the castle, across the bridge. Um, it's got a really good walk, actually. This bridge in the foreground. If you go back, I think it's Budabar. You walk across. 
around and up and you can walk back down into the parliament there's a lovely monument actually which is quite uh, poignant shall we say to mm. the uh, the history of the capital just on the uh, the key sides of that parliament building but i think also the great thing is the fact that you're moored right in the heart yeah. of town yes, as well of course, yeah. it's not like you know some of the cruise lines where you've got a, a big two-hour commute to get into the city center you know you're right mm. bang in the heart yeah. of it so all those dis places that you've been talking about just a quick yeah. walk yeah. into town so brilliant. accessible so let's just show you i mean it's an amazing deal i honestly it's, i think it's the best we've ever done uh, when it comes to river cruising and we're looking at a price starting at just 899 for the standard suite uh, these are great savings for 2021 so you've got 200 pounds off we've included those savings in the price shown on the screen shore excursions they are included as we mentioned um, and return flights based on London but we have got regionals just for a supplement as well and I, I want to really share with the single price because we always look out for these and I'm not being funny, but some other river cruises, um, they will charge double for the for single occupancy. But look at the prices you've got there. Amazing. There's some really good prices. And I think the other thing to stress as well is this is the first time we've ever done an early bird booking offer. Yes, it so is. Mm, this yeah. is the first time. So the £200 off. It's on all cabins throughout the season, not just this date. So, you know, if you want another date, it's still, it's still there. We're at 899 for this cruise. Amazing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Good and value. we should say, I mean, just speaking to somebody for the show, you know, a lot of you are booking for next year. You know, it's getting really busy for next year. So do book tonight if you can for this one. There's certainly the next few days. I, th I think Tom, it's thank definitely, you so much. yeah, thanks, really thanks, thanks to Tom Rudy. Really Amazing deal. deal. Thank I thank, yeah, thanks for coming Gold out as well. Star. Good to see you again. Thank yeah. you. And we'll see you very soon. <laughs> but uh, there's loads more coming up. And in fact, it's time for this week's Hot Pick. No, we are live. We are live. <laughs> that what? We, yeah, we are live. Look, that wasn't supposed to happen. We 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 love it. Director says he, he goes hot pick sting. Three, two, one. Should we do it again? There we go. This is it. Hey, hot pick sting. Um, so, this is a fantastic opportunity to go around Norway and the fjords um, from Southampton. So, no flying on this one, but look at the lineup music from the script, Pixie Lock, Clean Bandit, and Badness, and Dance Act Diversity as well. Brilliant. I've stopped laughing now. Yeah, right. But look at it. Yeah, but what, what about a little bit of Trevor Nelson, Sarah Cox, Joe Wiley? Uh, Alex James and comedy from Chris Ramsey and Tim Vine. Tim Vine is one of the best stand-up I agree. I agree. And that is on the brand new P&O ship. That oh. is fantastic. I know I'm slightly biased because I spent six years at sea with P&O. No, that is amazing. Yeah. I, I, that I, love the, I love the fact. Look at the clean bandit. Hey? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... I'm going to get in so What's much next? trouble. What's uh, um, uh, Right. Oh, I yep. love. I've got my eye. I have to say, I genuinely have my eye on this next cruise. Um, we did feature it a few weeks ago. And we had a, a whole celebrity show with Ruth. Yeah. And it was the top seller. I'm not surprised because yeah. the itinerary is fantastic. And, well, you know, celebrity is a great product at the end of the day. Well, um, it's on board the Celebrity Clips. Um, many of you will know the ship. She won numerous awards when she was actually, uh, say, based in Southampton. This is... An incredible itinerary taking you from Melbourne all the way over to Singapore and many, many great stops on the way yeah, as and well. There's, there's even an opportunity as well to stay in Singapore at the end. Was it for £149? It was something um, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and for Singapore, that is a phenomenal price. Because yeah. the hotels in Singapore are fantastic. But anyway, but, let's talk about um, Melbourne. I've actually got uh, some of my friends that are actually out in Melbourne right now. At St Kilda Beach, I had, I had a message just earlier on. They're like, "Yeah, just down at oh. the uh, the beach front." Um, Melbourne's a really vibrant city. Go down to the South Bank. Just on this picture here, um, if you go a little bit further down the South Bank, there are these 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 towers and there's natural gas that they release off. And every evening, it's you know like when a hot air balloon pulls the the burners. Yeah, and it's like. <laughs> There's these massive plumes of uh, fire that go up into the air. It looks fantastic down at the South oh. Bank. Some great restaurants down there. I think it's uh, Meat & Co. Uh, others are available. I've only um, been, I was only there for a day, but I really fell in love with the place. Yeah. And yeah. There's, there's some... some um, you've got to go to Stacks, Royal Stacks. There's some fantastic burgers in Melbourne. Oh. Anyway, I digress. So, uh, you've had your two <laughs> nights there, but... Imagine 50 nights on board the five-star Celebrity Eclipse. Wow. And you're going to get to see some great places yeah. on this itinerary. 
And you know, you know, at the end of the day, the, the Eclipse itself, 122,000 tons, 3,000 passengers. But we should say, at Celebrity, they are, you know, I mean, all the ships are already beautiful, but they are spending an absolute fortune, um, re, you know, reinventing them, creating some of the wonderful features that you'll see on their new ships like uh, Celebrity Edge and now Apex, of course, as well. So, uh, the silhouette more beautiful than ever. Yeah. And, yeah, and the Eclipse that we're looking at right now, again, absolutely stunning. So they are, you know, I've been on many of their ships, but you'll see that the transformations that are happening are incredible. They're going to be really revolutionised, and you can see there all of these brand new additions that are going to be there. I mean, look at the revolutionised main dining room there. Incredible. Wow. We had Ruth sell on the sofa a few weeks ago, and she's just saying, you know, the, the amount of investment that's going into all of their fleet over a period of time. So that's what uh, Celebrity Eclipse is going to be look like. Revolutionised with many of the features of Edge and Apex, but all of your favourites still there as well. You love, celebrity, you love Celebrity, don't you? Well, I, I, love, I love Celebrity Eclipse, but to see what's happening, you know. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, it's going to be more beautiful than ever. And it's where you're going. Yeah. I, need, well. I need a makeover like that, I tell you. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're, um, <laughs> we've got the Mr. Make I'll probably be in dry dock a little bit longer than you. <laughs> we'll anyway. do it together. Um, right, where are we going to, though? You've been to Sydney, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's great. Oh. I'm one of the cleanest cities I've ever been to. Um, a lot of the cruise ships um, do actually dock right underneath the dusty hangar, or the rusty hangar. That's, that's it, as in the bridge. Uh, of course, you've got Bondi Beach there. You've got the fantastic Opera House. There's the zoo just across, which you can get a water taxi. Um, there is just so much to, to do in Sydney. There's, there's a, um, a fantastic shopping district as well. And, uh, of course, you know, the rocks where I had a pizza and then turned out it was crocodile on top of the pizza. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it actually tastes like chicken. Yeah, I've had it ever since. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely go to St. James's Cathedral as well in Hyde Park. There's a lovely park to have a little bit of a wander around. Sky Tower's good as well for uh, for views. Um, I then mean, we're Newcastle. It's just the most amazing place. Newcastle. Yeah. Newcastle. <laughs> no, I tell you, I mean, when you look at it, so Newcastle, Australia, you know why it's called Newcastle? It I was, actually don't know. No, so, so the weird thing was, so who, who discovered Australia? Captain Cook. Yeah. Yeah. So, so seven years why? after the actual journey, they're looking for convicts that escaped along this river and they find coal. And it ends up, it's being one of the biggest veins of coal. So they start mining there. And because a lot of Australia is named after England, it was named after a mine district. So they ah, called it Newcastle. Okay. See? You learn something every day. Somebody's going to somebody's going to write in now and say that I'm wrong, but it was, in fact it wasn't seven years. It was 17 years. 17 years after that. But one of the greatest things in Newcastle, you've got to go to the Hunter Valley wine, just fantastic wine district. And um, there's some some good sand dunes there as well if you want to go quad biking. And there's also an op opportunity to uh, swim with the dolphins and sharks as well. So uh, probably not at the same time. Um, but uh, two days at sea, um, and you're going to be enjoying some fantastic weather, hopefully, um, on that. Yes. And then we're to Arley Beach. Now, uh, look, you can't talk about Australia without a Great Barrier Reef. There's several ports that you can go to see parts of the Great Barrier Reef. This is the Outer Reef, um, which is one of the, well, I, I call it one of the world's wonders. Uh, 2,900 individual reefs, 600 continental islands, and 300 coral keys. There you go. How about that? Um, then we're off to Cairns. Um, again, still, you can. this is another port where you can go to see the Great Barrier Reef. Apart from the Great Barrier Reef, you can go to um, a great a rainforest, the West Tropics. There's the Corunda Scenic Railway as well, so you can go through. Uh, there's the Sky Rail Rainforest Cayway, easy for me to say. And there's also the Aboriginal Park as well, so there's plenty to see and do there in Cairns. Um, we've got four days at sea. And they will be, you know, with celebrity, those days at sea on board Eclipse, they'll be magical. Well, do you know what I miss actually what? Um, from, from cruising? Just going onto the promenade deck, onto the steamer chairs and just laying there and just watching, yeah. getting some great fresh air, you know that, you know what they say about, oh, the great sea air, you know. But bring... it's true, isn't it? Yeah. I love the sea days, you know, particularly with celebrity. So you've got your four days at sea, but then... Yeah, Bali. Yeah, I got. Wow. I, I, you know, I, I got friends everywhere. I got friends out here at the moment. They were posting some pictures um, of the uh, monkeys that we'll talk about in a second. Um, but Bali, Indonesia, this is just just absolutely fantastic. You've got loads of plantations here for coffee and banana. Um, but the the actual monkeys, uh, you got to go to Ubud and go and see the monkeys there. There's the monkey forest, and apparently there's, there's approximately 340 Balinese long-tailed macaques um, in the sacred monkey forest. There's also 
also the temples as well. If you want to do something a little bit, um, that looks like the t is Timothy still a brand? Not yeah. too sure. Other brands are available. Timothy, it's just, it, 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 it just, it just, I just saw that waterfall. And I thought Timothy. Was it Timothy? Yeah. Not that I use hair products anymore. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'd like to say just yeah, I'm, I'm more like Mr. Sheen. Other brands are available. <laughs> anyway, a couple of days at sea, and then you finish up in Singapore. Or do you? Because you can add a stay in Singapore for just £149 a night. For an extra couple of and nights. And you, you, you're a disgrace to the cruise industry. You've been into Singapore for the day. I know, it's all the could day. Do. Sentosa Island, Marina Bay. I know. You haven't done all the fantastic restaurants in no. the Marina Bay at night, none of that. I was slutted, seriously. Disgrace but to the cruise industry. Well, I might book this one. <laughs> seriously, I, I think it's. A, it's a, the, all joking aside, if you do do this cruise for £149 per person, that is phenomenal. But you work out the value of this, including the flight. So you've got the two night Melbourne Hotel stay, it's amazing. Uh, all your overseas transfers as well. Uh, all if year, you go for all year. All year. <laughs> Does that Northern? <laughs> <laughs> all your transfers. Um, sale Plus upgrades. Now, this is really good. If you opt for Sale Plus from only, well, for only, £25 per person per night, you can choose two perks. And they, there are you know, four perks to choose from, but a lot of people will go for drinks and gratuities. If you go for Sale All, for only £55 per person per night, you get all of the perks. So that's premium drinks, tips, Wi-Fi, and $300 on board spend. Um, and if you book a suite, you'll receive all four of those as well, including premium drinks as well. And as Justin uh, mentioned, you can add on two nights in Singapore and stay there for just £149 per person. That was the top selling deal, so it is selling really fast from a few weeks ago. It works out under £95 per person per night. It is a brilliant, brilliant deal, but take advantage. And a lot of us are thinking about next year now. That's for the 16th of February 2021, but selling very, very quickly. But it is now time to have a quick look at this week's Luxury Corner as well. And this is from Azamara. Yeah. I am. Um, now, I've actually cruised with Azamara a few times now. They're a lovely... The way I describe them is, is like a five-star boutique hotel so smaller ships and um, more traditional ships they are a lot of fun but the standards in terms of restaurants food incredible and um, great atmosphere as well and this is their Canary Islands and Brazil uh, with Rio stay 90 nights and that is on board the Asma Quest for £1,779 per person now for Azamara that is incredible 90 nights so the best part of nearly three weeks, and the price there, £1,779 per person. They are, they are a beautiful brand. And uh, we've got a dedicated phone line for Luxury Corner, which is 0239 327 7859. Or you can use the regular Planet Cruise number as well, but that is a dedicated um, number for you to call for that one. 0239 327 7859. That is amazing for Azamara, isn't it? Amazing for Azamara, definitely. It is. And uh, a wonderful activity. But... Um, booking cruise early can save you a lot of money and it's time for another early bird saver. How are we doing? We're doing well. I'm, I'm excited you, about you, this one. Are you, are you, you look relaxed. Well, he, he, he relaxed and then he was like, oh no, it's, it's the uh, early bird saver. Yeah. And this is, this is with uh, Fred Olsen. It's a company that I cruise with, with my mum, actually. Yes, I have forgotten. And do you know, we had a lovely time. They were, the stands were incredible, but I loved the, the smaller ship. Yeah. It was intimate, it was very friendly. I think that's, the, that's one of the things that if, if you are a regular cruiser, if you started off with Fred Olsen, you know, you are very, very loyal to Fred Olsen. A lot of people love the fact that it's quite different itineraries oh, I like as well. That. Small ships for big world. Oh yeah, because yeah. they can get, they can reach other other places that other cruise ships can't reach. That sounds like something else, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. um, but it, it but does. It's true. You know, when you when you see some of the canals and some of the uh, um, some of the, the the rivers that they're going into, um, this particular um, cruise is going to be going into the Corinth Canal. And this is this Ooh, is a very nice. look at yeah. literally wow. side to sides. There's there's hardly you know uh, any any thickness in between at all. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. And, and and if you if you want to talk about size of ships 
Um, uh, the actual Braemar itself is, is only 24,000 tonnes. Maximum capacity is 761 people. So it really is yeah. you know, a completely so, different feel. And um, we should say tonight, this, this is for 2022, so you've got plenty of time to plan and to save, uh, you know, just uh, say a deposit tonight. But yeah. it's a wonderful itinerary and uh, tips are included on this one as well. Um, it's a really different itinerary. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sick of this. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few places we've not. So I take you on a yeah, go on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, I, there's a lot of places I've not been to here actually. You've, you've been to Malta. You've been to Valletta, haven't you? Yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, we'll talk about that nice. a little bit later. Um, but you have a day at sea before your first port to call a Croton, and this ancient city has stood here on the coastline since the fourth century, and it's absolutely stunning. This is this is a, a brand new one. I mean, look at the castles that you've got here. And you've got that sort of Italian feel, you've got that sort of buzz. Um, there's a, a fantastic fortress here, Charles V uh, Fortress, some great uh, palazzas as well, and some great historical monuments. So plenty for you to see and do. We're then going to pop across to one of my my favourite islands in this particular region, uh, and that is the island of Kefalonia. Now, this, the waters when you walk around this harbour, I've got some fantastic photos. I got this obsession. My first ever car was a Fiesta XR2. Oh, and you when, were when, I was, when I was on my cruise days, I used to go around the Mediterranean, a little bit like a train spotter. I'd be like, oh, look, there's a Mark II Fiesta. I've got this fantastic photo of me with a Mark II Fiesta in Catalonia. <laughs> there's a great, um, it's just this, I'm um, waffling completely <laughs> off, uh, off track. This is the cave that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, there's some great tools that you can go into here. There's also another lagoon you go to, and apparently the roof of the cave, it's the shape of the island. There's like a hole in the top, and it's the shape of the oh, island. Oh, really? I don't know how that's happened. Oh, cute, though. It's, it, it looks sounds, beautiful, sounds though. It, it, it is really, really beautiful. Um, then we're going into Catacolon. Um, this is a, a slightly smaller port that you've got here on the peninsula. Um, but beautiful. Uh, looking over the Ionian Sea, so, so on the Greek side, this is the gateway to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Olympia. Founded in the 8th century BC, um, this site is massively important. So if you love your sports, if you love history, you've got to go here. Uh, there's also the Worldwide Mythology Exhibition uh, Museum as well. That was opened in 2017. But look but, at this. Yeah, trans transferring the Corinth Canal. Um, this is actually uh, started by the Roman Emperor Nero. He's done well, he's got coffee shops now, um, but uh, <laughs> other brands are available. Uh, but it's just 25 metres wide, 25. And this is why oh. ships like Braemar, yeah. this is why you go on them. And look at all the passengers out on the deck. In fact, that used to, you see, see at the bottom around, around, the, uh, around the promenade, that used to be the crew deck around there. Not on, well, not, I'm not too sure about on brain art, but She so. looks like she just gets through that canal, um, that. Yeah, they do. But yeah. th this is the great thing, and, you know, the, the sailors love it because it is a real challenge. Yeah, I bet. And it's something that's completely different. And if you've been through the Panama Canal, um, then if you like that sort of thing, you've got to do this. And that was all solid rock that they cut through. I mean, how they did that I back know, in those days is just unbelievable. Anyway, then, then we're going into Athens. Now, Athens, well, you just have to take a look um, at the pictures, and it says it all the Acropolis, the Placa. Um, you, it's just a stunning, stunning city. Uh, of course, the actual um, port that you're going into is Piraeus, uh, which in itself is a very, very uh, uh, busy uh, port. Uh, but you've got to go on into Athens and see. I mean, 3,000 years of history that you've got there. It's just amazing. Then we're off to Crete. Um, I mean, this I think this is the tonic because, you know, after a big port day, nice to just balance things out. It's a vibrant resort town. You can see there by the harbour, fantastic beaches. Uh, there's also a great lake that's nearby uh, and Marabello Bay as well. So it's actually all walkable from um, uh, the actual uh, port itself. Then we've got a day at sea and we've got our final port of call, which is um, an overnight, which is Valletta. Oh, now, lovely. All I'd say is just Valletta, just go and enjoy it. Use the, use the ship as your hotel, have a wander around. The sandstone that you've got here is just warm and glowing. Um, you've got the uh, cathedral, which is definitely worth uh, going and seeing. Um, some good friends actually went out to Malta last year, was it the year before, and they said, they, they did it on a last minute sort of cheap deal and they didn't expect much and they absolutely loved yeah. it. And I think that's the thing because it's not one of those destinations like New York or Sydney like we've been talking tonight. But later, you, until you've been there, you haven't quite experienced it's actually, it. Actually, um, Denise, one of the presenters here, it's her favourite place. She's been there many times. So don't forget, we've got 
itineraries for 2021 and 2022, so you can really plan ahead. Uh, this is a launch offer, so you will get free up to £400 per person on board spend. That is a huge amount, that's per person, and uh, free tips as well. And as we mentioned, a chance to cruise that incredible canal and you're going to be overnight on board in Valletta as well, and the return flights as well. And the price is starting at just 1939 per person. Uh, we have got, obviously, other uh, cabins available as well. So we've got inside, outside, great single prices on this one, balcony and suites. But really liked that. So a little bit different, that one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. But those of you that are regulars of the show, you'll know that my very first cruise was with Royal Caribbean. They got me hooked. I had such a great time. Uh, and since then, I've, I've been lucky. I've done about 30-odd cruises. But it was Royal Caribbean that got me hooked. And I still love them. And they are... So, there's just so much to do, isn't they? I mean, just look at look, the innovations that you've got. This is all at your resort, your floating resort. Fantastic ships. And the fact that you're getting a stay in Orlando to yes. kick it all off with, it's just absolutely brilliant. Well, um... Let's uh, give you a little taste. I've, I've been looking up, so I've got some friends that have got a place in Orlando, so I've been there many, many times, and it has never, ever disappointed. What's your favourite part? Oh, God, that's a difficult Shopping, one. Shopping, probably. Well, there, there's, there's no, there's, there's no all-inclusive bars, is there? <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I like? I just... I, I like the general feel. I mean, there's just, there is, you know, there's so much. I like, there's a lot of restaurants where you're eating outside because obviously, you know, you get pretty good weather. And I, that, I love, I love all that. I love the evenings, you know. Yeah, and look, you know, the fact that you're there for a couple of days, perfect if you want to go to any of the theme parks. Yeah, and I've, I mean, the theme parks are amazing. I've done all that. I, I got, I, I can't have believe got, it. Have you got a favourite one? Well, I, I, I haven't got a favourite one. I'd love to go see the Star Wars uh, exhibit. Yeah. I know, I, yeah, I know there's a lot out there. Me, yeah. I've got a friend who sent some photos and I was like, don't tease me. Yeah. Um, but he, he, he did say did say that it's everything you'd expect. Yeah. But after this great start to your holiday, you're going to go on a cruise. You are. And it's, it's going to even start again because we've got a private island which has just got so yeah. many facilities. It is just unbelievable. But talking, and, of, talking of facilities, the ship's fantastic. Well, yeah, this is Harmony of the Seas. And just to give you an idea, look at the amphitheatre at the back there. Amphitheatre? Yeah. Yeah, you know, no, I'm just saying, you know, amphitheatre. I've typed up the wrong word there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Up uh, flow rider, uh, uh, you've got zip there wire. Well. Would you would you be keen on that zip wire? I've done it. Many times, that, I know yeah. you've done flow rider. Have we got that footage of flow rider? I oh, know it's rubbish. You know, <laughs> I was I was dreadful, honestly. Oh, you uh, just, it doesn't go. matter. You got to have a go. You got perfect storm, which is the uh, the water slide where you can race uh, each other as well. There's um, so much. There's dodgeball, football, full size sports. Can you ice skate? I by the way, I, I'm a little bit. A little bit. I imagine even if you can't, they've, they've got brilliant ice shows on board. You've got, you got to have yeah. a go, haven't you? I mean, yeah. everybody thinks that they're Joe Swash now. But, um, <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? Uh, but the great thing, there is something for everybody. Um, and you can get as involved as much as you want, or as little as you want. But they are great for families, aren't they, as well? Perfect. I mean, I mean, if you if you say that there wasn't anything to do on a royal oh, I know, yeah. holiday... There's something um, really wrong there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I think you might be in the wrong place. Um, but look at where we're going for our first day. Um, this, is, this is including what they call the perfect day at Coco Cay. And this is just amazing. Uh, well, it's, well, it's your chance of being on your own private island for the day. Let's have a little look. Or a water park like this before, and I'm just blown away. It's incredible. He's a thrill. I'm the chill. Right. Thrill. 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 I'm kind of excited about doing the slide over there. They're pretty big. Hey, everybody's gonna have a really good time. We got a crew ready to do whatever's popping tonight. Yeah, yeah, you know that it's the place to be. So get next to me, and we'll be feeling. 
getting so fast. Over the top. Oh, like, yeah, I is. think this is the best private island I've been to on any, any ship. <laughs> Do we have to? Do we have to leave? I, I was just going to say because I just thought if anybody could have seen what I was doing while that was playing, that would have. He was dancing away in his studio. I tell you. If you're not at home now yeah. and you haven't been shuffling in your seat or just going, oh yeah, I can feel a limbo coming on. I was going to do a limbo competition in here with the floor manager. <laughs> anyway, a fantastic what day. A day. I mean, all of those those great facilities. That is your first day. 170, th uh, 37 metres up in that balloon, zip lines, just everything is brilliant. Anyway, day at sea, and then we're going off to Mexico. We're going to Cozumel. Fantastic beaches. There's a great opportunity to swim with some dolphins here. Um, really good for their handicrafts and stuff like that. But I'd, I'd recommend hiring a buggy. I hired one of these buggies that's got like... Um, it's like a little moped engine, and it was oh, hilarious, yeah. just brilliant going it's around. It's actually really easy to get around Cosmo, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is. <laughs> I got stopped by the police in Cosmo. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but moving swiftly <laughs> on, <laughs> Justin, moving swiftly on. <laughs> it was okay. a scam. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to Roten Island. This is part of the Bay Islands of the coast of Honduras. Um, uh, there's, there's two things, two beaches. Uh, you've got Mahogany Bay, which is good, but West Bay is a little bit quieter. But there's three creatures that are um, indigenous to this particular indigenous. island. There's the Red Lord Parrot. Yeah? Okay. There's the La La Monkey. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> is that named after me? <laughs> and then there's the Jesus Lizard. Oh. And apparently, because he's called Jesus Lizard because he walks on water. Oh. Um, I know, unbelievable. Um, but then after that, we're off to Costa Maya. Um, this particular port has got some fantastic port facilities. All of those thatched roofs that you see there, that's all bars and restaurants that you literally walk off your ship, um, and you've got that there. Um, you can also go out to the Chacobin Ruins as well, and there's some good shops there. Um, but you've got one more final day at sea before you go back to Orlando, and that wraps up 11 days oh. with Royal Caribbean. Well, I remember this is for next year. What a great way to start 2021. So you're going to Discover Orlando is a brilliant place. You've got a three-night hotel stay, that perfect day at Coco Cay, of course, and a seven-night cruise on board Harmony of the Seas. And return flights based on London. Price-wise, we have got some amazing deals for next year tonight. And um, we have got some dates for later on this year. And then we've got dates for January 2021. Now we've got one final. Oh, can cruise. we just play the Coco Cay? Music no, again. we get can't. Up. Do, 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 get up! <laughs> do, 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 do. Get up! We need a little brightness. We do. Come on. Anyway, final cruise. Right. Final cruise. We're nearly there. MSC Preziosa. What right. fantastic ship. Would you like to take a look at her? Well, this is a, a repositional cruise. Uh, so you weigh three weeks. Well, virtually three weeks, 20 nights. Virtually, what have you got goggles on? <laughs> Just behave. Look, we've got a few minutes. <laughs> so, um, uh, it's a 20 night cruise, and it's an amazing repositioning itinerary. But you're going to be on board Preziosa, aren't you? Yes. And she's yes. amazing. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So some fantastic uh, restaurants, Butcher's Cuts, uh, Little Canda, the, uh, the Golden Lobster, the Galaxy Cato as well. Brilliant 4D cinema, 4D style cinema, uh, and the Platinum Theatre as well. And one of my favourites, the Swarovski Crystal Staircase, and of course the MSC Yacht Club, yeah. which is like a private, uh, private club, effectively, that uh, only certain cameras have got access to. Really worth the while. But um, these uh, repositioning cruises, they, they are rare. And when you see the itinerary on this one, it is really amazing. So we cruise out of Southampton, yep. day at sea, first of all. And then we're into our first port of La Coruña. And, uh, well, this is just, uh, this, this is where the um, uh, Armada, the invincible Armada, set sail um, uh, with Sir Francis Drake. Ah. See, a little bit of history there. There's a fantastic um, lighthouse and some mega, me megalithic, yes, megalithic uh, monuments. A bit like Stonehenge and Avery, similar. They've got there's something called the megalithic meter, and they can't work out all of these different monuments around the world. I mean, they didn't have email, did they? You know, well, you could no. just pick up the phone and leave a voicemail. So they all they all had the same measurements. Isn't that weird? Sp weird. Isn't it's conspiracy. it? Conspiracy. That's what I tell you. Aliens. Anyway, um, then we're off to Lisbon. I love Lisbon. I Absolutely so love it. Brilliant place. Love the shopping districts. Love for a little bit of chi uh, cheeky chicken and chips. 
with a bottle of Mateus Rosé yeah. as well. You've got to do that when you're in and Lisbon. And there's custard tarts tonight, aren't I'm they? I'm not a fan of custards. I know. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. She's, she's mad on custards. I don't know. Is that an Northern thing? Custard. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. She, all of her is she family. Is as well? Oh, yeah, she's at Manchester. Of way. course, yeah. yeah. It, I don't know why all of a sudden Manchester way. Anyway, anyway, um, Daisy, then Madeira. Yes, Madeira wine, Madeira cake, um, oh, yes. flowers. Uh, what would you like to do, in Madeira? It is it's tropical. Beautiful. Green. Can I just tell you as well? Just, just take a jacket, a light jacket, just in case. There's a reason why it's a lush green island, and I'll never forget. I went off in Madeira in a t-shirt. Uh, in fact, no, it wasn't a t-shirt. It was a shirt, nice jeans, and, and boots. And it absolutely lashed it down. And I bought, I ended up going into a gentleman's store. You know one of these old sort of stores where they'll, they'll actually measure you for a suit and you can get bowler hats yeah. and stuff like that. I went in there to buy an umbrella. 35 euros. This is about 15 years ago. 35 oh, euros. Oh, my word. Probably the cheapest one in the shop. And I loved that umbrella. And then I went out in London to see Jamie Cullum at the Palladium and went for a drink before and, and <coughs> left, it, left it in there. Because you had too many. Anyway, happy, happy memories of Madeira, but just not Jamie Khan. Um, anyway, um, then we're off to Lanzarote. Um, there's so much to do here. There's the National Park, there's the Montanas del Fuego, or the Mountains of Fire. Um, there's uh, Playa de Carmen as well, uh, Tosta, uh, uh, the Costa de Guiz. The brilliant landscapes here um, and some great architecture as well. Off to Tenerife, this is where, in fact, my, my northern compadre um, spent many years. Um, in fact, the whole family moved out to Tenerife for a long time. So it's, uh, if it's good enough for them, definitely good enough for you. Um, there's some brilliant stuff out there. Santa Cruz has definitely got to be the, 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 the best place out there. Anyway, then um, you've got five days at sea, haven't yes. you? Yes. And there's so much to do with MSC, so you're going to have an amazing time. But look where we're heading. Yeah, we're going to Salvador, we're going to South America, and this, this is just brilliant. Tropical climate, pristine beaches, and well, there's some, some great stuff to see here. Um, it, you, you've got the uh, San Francisco Church, you've got the Mercado Modelo as well, which is the commercial center, um, but just brilliant. Um, then staying uh, not too far away, we're going to Alus, and there's some fantastic parks here. There's the Botanical Park, which is Hope Woods. There's, Un uh, there's the Una Eco Park. There's the Atlantic Rainforest Trek. There's the Sloth Recovery Center. Oh, I love that. Yeah, um, and there's some great beaches, man mangroves, and lagoons. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, then we've got a day at sea before we go to Buzios. And uh, this this was a, a really. Have you ever heard of this port before? No. No? Have you heard of Bridget Bardo? Of course. She put it on the map. Really? There you go. That's why you haven't heard of it. Uh, no, 1964, she went there. She had a Brazilian boyfriend, allegedly. Um, just put it out there. Um, but I don't, I don't, just check with Denise. Um, and uh, it was often referred to as Brazil's Saint Tropez. Ah, okay. Just imagine that sort of late 50s, early 60s. Mm. Fantastic scarves and hats and black glasses. Just big glamour. glamour. Yeah, great cars. Anyway, uh, then we're off to Rio de Janeiro. It's a sleepy little port. You probably won't find much to do there. <laughs> Um, no, this is brilliant. I, I've got to say... And, and you disembark here, don't you? Yeah, but do you, you get two nights in a hotel, just book up a tour, because mm. it's one of those places that you want to you get to see everything. You want to get to see it and do it safely as well. You've got Copacabana Beach, you've got Ipanina Beach as well. You know, the, the, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Sugarloaf Mountain, Christ the Redeemer, the favelas, it's all there. I mean, this is a seriously amazing deal to finish the show. It it's works out, by the way. It works out under £59 How much? per person per night, honestly. And it's for, it's for the end of October of this year, so, you know, definitely do not miss out. That is amazing. I, I, I can also say in the last 12 years, that has got to be one of the best deals we've ever, ever closed the show with. So... Do give us a call tonight and say it's for the 28th of October. So, you know, it's about six months. Six yeah. Months, yeah. Six months. That's incredible, wasn't that? We've got a, a, a mean, great show. Uh, yeah, £59 per person. When you think about the value of the flights alone. And that one. Anyway, right, we've got two and a half minutes. Quick recap. It's all your fault. We're behind now. So we started off 
with this one. Uh, on board Norwegian Escape, nine night to Scandinavia, Russia and the Baltics there from Copenhagen. And the price that one just 1249. If you go for any of the dates uh, this year, you'll get a free upgrade to all inclusive. But that finishes tonight, doesn't it? Midnight tonight. So yeah, you've got to get it booked up. Um, yeah. Then we were off on a river cruise with Tom on Riviera. Some fantastic prices for next year. And well, si simply so much included with this. And one of the great highlights is seeing Budapest and Bratislava as well is having all of those tours included. Get on the phone right now. Then we had uh, a wonderful cruise from Celebrity. It's on board the Eclipse. You've seen how she's going to be revolutionised, as has the whole fleet over the next uh, few years. And you've got the two-night Melbourne hotel stay. You can upgrade to Sail Plus. That's only £25 per person tonight. And you can uh, you know, choose from two perks, such as drinks and gratuities. Or you can uh, go for more there. And that starts at 1899. Then we're off to the Greek Islands for a 10-night cruise with uh, Fred Olsen on a beautiful little Bremer. As I said, little ships for a big world. You get the chance to go through the Corinth Canal as well, so uh, definitely worth that. And look at that. That's, that's launch offers for 2021 and 2022 now on sale. And then we had uh, Royal Caribbean on board the absolutely wonderful Harmony of the Seas. It's the 11-night Western Caribbean with a perfect day, of course, at Coco Cay there. 1349 is the price. Uh, and then we finish up with the MSC Preziosa, a fantastic repositioning cruise uh, from uh, starting over in Spain over to South America and highlighting Rio de Janeiro. Wow. All right, so don't forget, you can give us a call right now, uh, or you can call obviously tomorrow or over the next few days, but some of those deals will definitely, definitely go. Now, we are not going to be with you for a few weeks, so Planet Crews are taking a break, but we will be back in the very near future. Uh, so just keep in touch with our social media, or you can check my Facebook page as well, but we will be taking a break for the next few weeks, just to let you know. So, what are you going to do with your free time? Well, I'm going to do your free time. You're busy well, at the moment, aren't you? I, I'm a little bit busy. Got, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow's a big day. It's, it's six weeks old for, for my, my new son, little Theo. He's a dad, did you know? I know. Yeah, yeah. he's a dad. Yeah. Congratulations, so, uh, by yeah, the way. Lo lots of late nights and early mornings and bottle changes and, and stuff yeah. like that. But you're enjoying it, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Worth every, yeah. every minute of it. So yeah, I'll, I'll, so. I'll, I'll find ways to, <laughs> to film the time. So <laughs> we will see you. Just keep uh, your, you know, your eye on uh, the Planet Quiz website. We will be back in a few weeks' time. But uh, we will see you very soon with Planet Cruise. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.